let's jump to the kind of elephant in the room. You bet. I, um, yeah. So we were actually going to have both yourself and uh, Jane uh, Thornthwaite, Thor 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 yeah. excuse me, um, on today's podcast. Uh, she wasn't able to make it, uh, and I think largely due to what happened on Friday. So there was a video that we're going to uh, post here. There was a video that uh, a clip that was uh, mm -hmm. that you were on yep. with uh, Jane mm -hmm. and Andrew Wilkinson and a few other people from the BC Liberal Party, and there's some comments made about Bo and Ma. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we'll let the viewers sort of hear or listen to this clip um, right now. Except for Bowen is, you know, very pretty lady, and uh, she knows that she's got it, and um, she knows how to get Ralph going. <laughs> and my, this is my roast part for Ralph. Both Bo and Ma and Ralph were stuck on the couch together, very, very close together for almost the entire time. We, we were supposed to be <laughs> networking and all this, but Bowen knows yeah, how no. to get it. But Kareen, can you maybe, I'll just leave that open. I'll open it up for you to, to comment because sure. obviously there's been a lot of drama around yeah, this. Yeah, there has been. This has been soul crushing for me. I bet. Um, I have worked, uh, and it's uh, quite emotional to, for me too. I have worked, all of my jobs have been to help and support women, um, uh, to help deal with racism, discrimination. Um, it it is it was so fundamentally um I, I was i was actually as i am now almost tongue-tied i was so shocked by the comments that were being made that i did not react the way that i would like to have reacted mm -hmm. um there some people have said i was laughing and i can guarantee you i was not laughing um i was at first just trying to process what was being said um, and then I put my head down because I didn't really, I, I did not know what to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I put my head up and it looked like I might be laughing. It was a nervous reaction. Sure. I really was in a position where I would like to have thought if I was on the other side of that camera that I would have behaved differently. Um, and I've been beating myself up about it since uh, it happened. I should have stopped it. I should have called it out when it happened. I don't have a time machine. Uh, if you know, if, if I did, uh, I, I would change it. I can't. It was a mm -hmm. moment in time where I didn't say something that I should have said. Right. Um, the extenuating circumstances for me, and I don't certainly don't mean this to be an excuse, is that this is the first event I had ever done. I was nervous. I had been practicing my script all day. I didn't know the people on the call. Um, so just in terms of getting to kind of where I was when this came out of left field at me is I probably wasn't as steady on my feet as I normally would be. And so I apologize to who, you know, to all of those people that were offended. Um, it, it was, just, it's just so not the person I am. And I'm so upset by it because I feel that it diminishes and takes away from all of the work that I've done in my career. Mm -hmm. um, the social media, which I knew I didn't want to look at when I got into politics anyways, his cruel. Um, I'm called a bad mother, uh, which to me, I think it, that that's another issue about, who, do you, are, are they calling the men that were on that call bad fathers? Sure. Um, and was it my uh, obligation? And I do think I have a higher level of responsibility because I was the only woman on the call to have stepped up and, and said something. Mm -hmm. But it is, uh, I. I I wish I had done something different. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of people, I think, who you look back and you go, gee, if it was me, I would have done, you know, this, this and this. I would have thought that about myself. Sure. Too. I, I yeah. made a mistake in time and I wish I could change it. It was wrong. It was appalling. It was shocking. Um, and it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you've been able to express that, Corinne, because I think what's been unfair mm -hmm. is the, again, this is also not an excuse for the comments that Jane made because I listened to them too. And uh, I didn't, I found out firsthand. I didn't mm -hmm. find out from some second person. So I yep. saw it and I saw it raw. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the context. Yeah. The context was it was a roast. Event. It was a roast for Ralph Sultan. And, and to be honest, this is the other piece that upsets me. He is such a gentleman. He's sure. such a wonderful person, a yeah. statesman. 
and this is has hurt him too yeah and so but it was in the context of being a roast it was completely appropriate with with you know there's always some you're playing around the edges a little bit but right. with the people that roasted him prior to this it was appropriate it yeah. was funny and and it was a nice event right yeah so i think it's good to to make sure we clear the air on that so mm -hmm. that it's understood because i think what's unfortunate from my observation yeah and, and look i had bowen ma come in here yeah um unfortunately the recording with Bowen was like, it didn't record. Right. Uh, oh. so it's so, <laughs> it's so, so disappointing, but she's offered to come back in right. after the election's over. She's a great person. Yep. Um, and I was really impressed. She's very well yep. spoken. Yep. Um, and as I've had other people like yourself come mm -hmm. in, I'm like, you know, what you see on Twitter yeah. and what you hear their, their opponents st state about those people mm -hmm. and what you realize about them when you meet them in person, I can't say that there's been anybody from any of the political lines yeah. of all the guests I've had in from both NDP, Liberals and Greens yeah. that I could say they left and they said, wow, that's a real jerk. That person's a real jerk. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and it's unfortunate, Corinne, and I'm glad you've been able to speak about this because it's unfortunate that all the years of work you've done, uh, especially with the, you know, your your latest, this, this uh, with your uh, family services of Greater Vancouver, that all gets kind of swept under the rug because you happen to be in this clip on this video and you're the only other woman in the room. And mm -hmm. I just think it's unfortunate people don't take a minute to just reflect on the fact that you can't judge a person based on some small clip. And I'm, again, I'm not trying to to justify or defend Jane. I don't know Jane. Yep. But I think that if any mature adult were to look at this, go, you know, we've all made mistakes in mm -hmm. our lives. And I completely resonate with where you're yeah. coming from.